Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host, Gavin Hatch. So this week's episode was suggested by Josh, one of our viewers. He suggested that we focus on Disney merchandise, and I liked that idea because there's a lot of new merchandise in the parks this week, and as well as I want to show you some really cool ones that have been out for a while that I liked. So let's get started in Once Upon a Toy Store. Now the Disney Zoom Zooms are becoming very popular, and these are collectible plushes. The name Zoom Zoom comes from the Japanese verb, Zoom, which means to stack. And the plushes are designed to sit on top of each other, forming a pyramid. And the ones that you see here are from the Lion King collection. Now one of my favorite toys growing up as a kid at Disney was the Monorail playset, and they still sell these in the parks today, but they have changed over the years. The doors now open up on the monorails, and it comes with little Disney characters that I guess you can put in there. But when I was a kid, none of that was a thing. It was just the monorail itself and the track. And it was very important to buy more and more track to make your set go bigger and bigger, which I always tried to do. Now they used to sell a lot more accessories and things to go along with this, such as the Polynesian Resort, Grand Floridian. Uh, they still have the Contemporary. I did notice they still sell this in the parks, and I owned this. The monorail goes right through the center of it. And there's also the Epcot Ball, which they also sell. Now they also sell these miniature monorails and also the uh, parking lot trams. So you can purchase these, and they're great for kids to play with, but also if you want to put it on your desk at home or at the office, it's perfect for any Disney fan. If you look closely at the Disney buses here, they are sporting the old design, so they are no longer looking like this. Obviously, they've been repainted, the ones that run around the resort, as well as the ones at Disney Cruise Line. Something I've never seen before was the Battleship game that is themed to the Pirates of the Caribbean, and I thought that was really cool. I've never seen that. I might have to buy that in the future. Now, there is a lot of Star Wars merchandise that's being sold everywhere right now, not just at Disney, so there's a lot of stuff to look at. But one thing that I thought was interesting was this here. Now, these are popping up all around um, at all the parks. Universal's been using them. They use them for Halloween Horror Nights, and they also sell them at SeaWorld for the Christmas celebration. And I've also seen them being used around the holidays at Disney as well. So whoever makes this toy or this necklace is doing very well right now because all the parks are using their product. If you're a pin collector and you also like Star Wars, then you probably want to get this lanyard. This is a pretty thick lanyard. It's great for the pins that go on, and it is double-sided, so it has uh, two lightsabers and also has pictures of the cast from the movies. For those of you who take pin trading very seriously and don't want, just want to carry those pins around in a book, you can wear them, and Disney does sell these vests, and you can put this on and put all your pins on it. It's probably going to be pretty heavy, but... It's kind of cool to show off all your pins that way. Now, just last week, Disney released a new pin set that features Disney uh, female characters and birthstones. As of right now, there is no January. We don't know when that's going to be coming out or who the character will be that is going to be on the January pin. But as of right now, we have Rapunzel for February, Cinderella for March, Mary Poppins for April, Ariel for May, Jasmine for June. My favorite is Jessica Rabbit and she's representing July. In August there's Tiana, Anna is for September, and for October there's Sleeping Beauty herself. Now my birthstone is November and November has Belle. And of course, for December, you have Elsa. Now, when it comes to pricing, these pins are $11.99. They are in the yellow category. Now, over at Trendy, they have some new merchandise that just came in. Let's go check that out. If you're a fan of Snow White, girls can take this top home with them. On one side, you have Snow White, and on the back, you have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, as well as the Evil Queen and the Huntsman. One of my favorite movies that's a Disney classic is Alice in Wonderland. Now, I'm pretty jealous that the girls can buy these vans because they are all decked out with characters from the movie. Now, the cast member at the store told us that this Dumbo tank top for girls is one of their biggest sellers. If you like to collect mouse ears, then you should definitely come to Trend D. These ones here are only found at this store. They are exclusive to Trend D at Disney Springs. If you enjoyed Disney Pixar's newest film, The Good Dinosaur, then Wonderground Galleries has some new paintings and lithographs available for purchase. Now, speaking of The Good Dinosaur, I did not get to see that myself in theaters, but if you did and you enjoyed it, comment below. But, of course, no spoilers. 
My favorite Disney villain is Corella DeVille, and eventually I will buy this painting. I think this is really very unique because you can see here it doesn't look like a cartoon of her. It looks as if she was a real person, what she looked like in real life. And I just think it's kind of creepy, but at the same time really beautiful. In the comments below, let me know who your favorite Disney villain is. For the Haunted Mansion fans out there, there is a new series of paintings available at the same location. And not far away for the ladies at Cherry Tree Lane, we have this Haunted Mansion bag. Cherry Tree Lane is also where you can go and purchase Pandora Jewelry. Pandora Jewelry is the sponsor of Wishes in the Magic Kingdom. Now last week Patrick and I had a lot of fun doing a special episode of Florida E-Ticket that focused on Adventureland. In Adventureland you have the Sunshine Tree Terrace which is home to the Big Orange Bird. Now this guy has a lot of merchandise and you can find it all around Walt Disney World. So if you are a fan of that place then you can definitely take a lot of this stuff home with you. Now I love all the changes that are going on right now at Disney Springs and I cannot wait for it to be finished. And I love that you can actually purchase items that are themed to Disney Springs itself. You can see that they sell now these vintage glass bottles that go along with the theme of Disney Springs. In Morimoto Asia, these are used as light fixtures at the entrance of the restaurant and it's really cool looking. If you haven't seen it, you gotta go check that out sometime. Something I never saw until this week that was released last year were these dolls that were created specifically for Disney parks and they are called Disney Attractionistas. Disney says that these Disney Attractionistas are special friends that love to be together at Disney parks every chance they get. As the story goes, each Attractionista wished to be part of their favorite attraction and that could be part of them. Once their wishes came true, they were magically transformed with a tire inspired by those various attractions. These 12 inch fashion dolls come with detailed clothing, a special animal sidekick, and a fun story on the back of the packaging about each of these dolls. The first four Attractionistas were inspired by classic Disney attractions such as Mad Tea Party, which is Maddie, Space Mountain, which is Celeste, The Haunted Mansion, which is Gracie, and The Pirates of the Caribbean, which is Pearl. In the fall of last year, they added Carrie, who was inspired by King Arthur Carousel at Disneyland and Prince Charming Regal Carousel at Walt Disney World, and Nellie, who looks to be inspired by the world-famous Jungle Cruise. In the comments below, let me know what your thoughts are on these Disney Attractionistas, and if you've collected all six, or if you have no interest in collecting them at all. Oh, and there's Topher. We had such a great time taking photos this week at Disney Springs, and he was a little upset that I couldn't get him the Chippendale mouse ears, but we settled for the classic Mickey Mouse ears. He had a great time, so did I. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and say hi to Topher and myself in the comments below. And that will do it for Photo Finds. I hope all of you have a great week. Make sure to subscribe to Orlando Attractions Magazine, and most importantly, get out, have fun, and enjoy the parks.